Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this session, we'll be talking about the tool coolant, tool preset, and tool message. In the different CNC machines that we have in the market today, we have different types of coolant options within those machines. For instance, there are machines where you can have air coolant, flood coolant, coolant through the spindle, and so on and so forth. Also, there are machines today where you can actually measure the tool with inside the machine and use tool presets to check whether the tool you're about to use is worn down or broken, or just to check the length and the radius of the tool itself. Before we look into it inside our tool table while creating a tool, let's first take a look at the machine ID. So I'll close this window for a moment and go into the machine ID. Now in this machine ID, if we go into our options, you can take a look over here and you see we have, as far as our coolant goes, we have our coolant flood on or off as opposed to none. And I also have over here my activate air also set as on off. In other words, this particular machine supports both of these type of coolant options. Now, in addition, if I were to go into my turret and open up the options in the turret itself, you'll note we have the option over here of tool measure. In this particular case, it's marked as yes, no which means that this particular machine supports this option. So let's go back now into our tool table. I'll open up my tool table and let's just go into tool number two, which is a 20 millimeter end mill. If I were to go to coolant now, you'll note that we have two options, turret coolant and machine coolant. Now, if this machine had supported coolant through the turret, whatever was supported would have been marked off with a green check mark. However, none of them is supported in this machine, so it's all under a red X. However, if I go into my machine coolant, as we saw before, my flood and my active air were marked as on off. So that's actually supported by this machine and we can see it now with the green check mark. Now, if I want to actually use this, all I do is click in the checkbox next to it, and that will be active on this particular tool. Also, if I go now into my tool preset, since this machine supports tool measure, we have the option of tool measure over here, for checking the length and the radius of the tool. And if I want, I can also activate tool breakage to check the tool for breakage, whether it's on the length by given tolerance or the radius, checking the radius by given tolerance. Now, the last option that we have is tool message. By clicking on tool message, it allows us to put a message in here that will later on appear inside our G code itself about that particular tool. So if I want to have a message over here that'll, that'll appear to me, such as tool air coolant, it will appear now inside my G code when I create the G code for that particular operation using that tool. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.